Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A. Marie, and I just wanted to come to you guys really, really, really quick and let y'all in on the affordable makeup haul that I have picked up. So if you're interested in seeing this drugstore slash affordable makeup haul, then just keep watching. But before we go any further, I would love for you guys to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification. Set your post notification to all. You have to turn it on first and then set it to all so you don't miss any uploads from me. So let's just go ahead and jump into this quick haul. All right, you guys. So like I said, this is a quick, quick, quick haul. And it's from Walmart, DD's, Beauty Supply, and Sally's. Okay, so I'm putting it all in one video because it's not a lot of stuff. So I could go ahead. So I could go ahead and haul it for you guys so that I could go ahead and start <laughs> using it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and Shein. Forgot about Shein. I got a couple of things from Shein and Ulta. Girl, what am I doing? Ulta as well. So we're going to start off with the Shein brushes. I did pick up two sets of these brushes and I put one set in my lashing area for the brows because I will be doing brows. Is it henna brows, tinting brows? Yes, I'm going to start doing that. And I picked up two of these brushes. These are the Real Technique dupes. So here is a like highlighter brush. They look exactly like Real Techniques. And here is the Concealer Blending Brush. I picked these up because I really, really, really love Real Techniques. And I wanted to get a cheaper version or try the cheaper version and see if I like it. So... I'll have these linked down below from Shein. So the next thing I picked up, these two Glow Revivers by e.l.f. They are the lip oils. I went ahead and picked those up. I've been hearing a lot of things about them. They are fairly new. If you haven't seen my Heart Candy Times Girl Scout collab, they have a lip oil that I guess everybody is duping from the Dior lip oil. So, yeah, I wanted to pick them up. They are infused with apricot oil. They're the Lip Reviver. I have Crystal Clear and Pink Quartz. I'm not even going to open them because it's just a tint. And I do want to use them in a video, but as, as well as throw one in my purse that I can use on the go. So, I went ahead and picked that up. Nothing new, but new to me is the new elf halo glow liquid filter this is the glow booster for radiant skin i got this in the shade seven deep slash rich i've been hearing everybody talk about it it has completely went viral on like tiktok and i think instagram maybe is where else i've seen it but everybody talked about it i'm not really a dewy type of girl but Hey, I wanted to try it out, see what the hype is about. So I finally picked me up one. Oh, and I also got from Walmart the new EOS's. Oh, they may not be new. EOS's 24 hour moisture super balm. And it says three hydrating butters, cocoa, shea, and avocado. I got the watermelon frosé and the mango melonade. I already have the watermelon one in my purse and so far I already started using the watermelon one and it's almost like a slippery sticky type of balm you don't want to use too much because it gathers around your lip like on the inner portion of your lip or on the corners and to me no offense to anybody that possibly do this but to me it looks like spit is gathered on the corners of your mouth and in the rim of your mouth 
I don't like that. So you, I find myself doing one of those numbers throughout the duration of the time that I'm wearing this. So mm, I'm kind of regretting this purchase already, but hey, I already got it. I'm here now. Whatever. Really quick at Sally's. I used to rock this brand a long time ago, like back when Raven Elise was doing makeup. She did a collab with this company. And I do believe that she, I remember hearing her say that they discontinued it and it was only sold at Sally's. So I went to Sally's the other day looking for that viral nail glue <laughs> that everybody and their mama is talking about. And I think it's called Secret Beauty or Beauty Secrets. I can't find it nowhere. And it's $12 on Amazon. So, but I ran across the brand that Raven Elise was collaborating with years ago that I could have swore she said was discontinued. The brand is Collab. You guys, if you have been rocking with me for years now, you know I was a sucker for the collab products. So I went ahead and picked up the collab set the stage ultra fine loose setting powder. And this one is in almond slash caramel. I picked this up because I remember decluttering these the products from collab that I had years ago because Raven Elise said that they were no longer a company. So when I seen it the other day, I was like, what? I got to get it. So I also got the Collab No Flaws Liquid Concealer. And this one is in this shade Caramel Slash Tawny. Yeah, so I picked this up. But I do remember, and it's still the same collab from Sally's, is High AF. Like, I had to pick it up because those are products I used to really love. So I was happy that I even went into, into Sally's. All right, so next is the only product, I mean, the only thing I got from D's, which are these Powder Puff Puffs by Adrian, by Adrian somebody. It's a six piece Powder Puff set and I got it from D's for $3.99. If you guys have a D's near you, y'all, y'all need to go shop in it, okay? Y'all need to go shop in it. Gina Janine, it's her fault that I live in a DD's now. So I took my kids uh, so they could just find some clothes or whatever they wanted up out of DD's just because. And while they were in there shopping, I came across this. And I honestly said I was going to go in there just for them and I wasn't going to buy anything. But I ended up with a Steve Madden purse and these puffs. So. There you have it. So at my beauty supply store, I see that Kiss had some newer-ish type of products that I don't think I ever used before or seen or purchased. So I picked up the matte powder foundation. This one is in caramel. Used this, so I wanted to test it out. As well as the Kiss Pro Touch Full Cover Concealer. And this is in the shade 335 Cappuccino. So, yeah, I am going to be playing around with that. Y'all, I thought something was on my shirt. I also picked up the e.l.f. Sun Touchable Woe Glow Bright Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. This is a sunscreen plus makeup primer. And I got the shade Sunburst. I haven't heard anybody talk about this product. I need to look on TikTok, y'all. TikTok is... I don't go on TikTok a lot. But when I do find myself on TikTok, I'm like down the rabbit hole, rabbit hole, rabbit hole. Side note, did y'all watch the Risa Tisa? 51 part series did y'all watch it plus the two hour live anyways <laughs> i haven't heard nobody talk about this and like i was saying 
once I get on TikTok, I go down this like a long, deep rabbit hole of videos. But I need to go on there and see what's the hype about this or is there any hype? I have been looking for sunscreen because I don't really wear it. I wanted the Tallulah sunscreen, but it's entirely too high. And I seen melanin sunscreen that sold at Ulta, I believe. And I said I wanted to try it, but I haven't purchased it yet. So when I seen this in my Walmart, strolling the makeup aisle, I was like, oh wait, Elf got one. And it's in my skin tone, it's for us, in the shade Sunburst. Okay, let's pick it up and let's try it. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> oh wow here it is let's just see kind of look funny <gasps> OMG so the last two products I got I did take my best friend to Ulta um, if you guys are watching my vlogs y'all will see that I took my best friend to Ulta she wanted to learn how to do her makeup so I took her to get the basic needs that she wanted and <clears throat> excuse me and while we were there i went ahead and picked up me some essence mascaras because i hear a lot of good things about essence and their products so she didn't want me shopping because she knew i would like blow a bag in ulta so i was like you know what at least let me get the mascaras so i did get the essence lash princess i think juicy jazz here on youtube is the one who spoke about the lash princess mascara so i got the false lash effect waterproof and then the false lash effect regular so here we go you probably will see these in like my shop mustaches or something come next month or maybe this month I don't know I have a couple of um, mascaras open already so I can't wait to try these out and see if Juicy Jazz was hopefully I love it like she love it because Essence is affordable and if it's a good mascara I love it you know what I'm saying so that is everything that I got told y'all this was going to be like a quick haul i will have everything listed down below hopefully with links if not i'll have a list just go and search it yourself don't forget to like comment and subscribe click the notification share with a friend help me get back monetized it helps me a lot if you guys interact with me it helps me get back monetized when i took that long break from youtube i lost my monetization so i have to build it back up working with brands again i really miss working with different brands and getting pr and you know sponsored and stuff like that I miss it, I miss it, I miss it. hopefully you guys enjoyed if you picked up any of these products that i picked up in this video comment down below and let me know your thoughts on it and that's it y'all will be seeing this stuff in a upcoming testing products shop my stash type of videos if you want to see something in particular in the next video comment that down below and i will get to working on it i love you all and i hope you all have a great day and i will see y'all in the next one deuces